Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is Module 2, Lesson 9. And today we're going to decompose a liter to reason about the size of 1 liter, 100 milliliter, milliliters, and 1 milliliter. Now today we're going to find out how many milliliters are in 1 liter. First things we need to talk about is capacity. Now, I have a question for you. So, which holds more water? A swimming pool or a glass of water? That's right, a swimming pool. Which holds more water? A swimming pool or a bathtub? A swimming pool, that's right. Now, which holds the least amount of water? A swimming pool, a bathtub, or a glass? That's right, a glass holds the least amount of water. The amount of liquid that a, a container holds is called its, whoops, capacity. Capacity. Now, this is how much a liquid, a container holds of liquid. How full it is. What is its capacity is a question you might ask. Now, <clears throat> the thing we're going to talk about today is called a liter. This is our main unit. Now, we talked about kilograms. We're moving on to liters. So, this is how you write liter, and we can shorten it just like we did the kilograms, and when we shorten it, it's a capital L. When we talk about milliliters, that's, all, that's what we're going to be talking about in just a moment. We're going to put a lowercase m for the capital L, okay? Now, whoops, I better clear that. There we go. Now, this right here, this picture holds one liter. If you look carefully right here, it says one liter. Now, this is essentially the side of my pitcher. And if you look, this pitcher is also divided into ten segments. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is the side of the pitcher. Now, let's decompose it just like we did the kilograms. If I have it divided into ten, how many is going to be in each one? Well, there is going to be 100 milliliters in each segment of a liter that we take apart, that we decompose. So we can divide that completely. Now, this means, as I'm writing this, that if you look at the side of the picture carefully, you will see that there are some lines. Okay? Now those lines are showing it broken down or decomposed even further. So, in between this line and this line, there are 100 milliliters. Between this line and this line, there are 100 milliliters. Okay? Now here is a larger <clears throat> picture of it. Now, wait a minute, I'm going to go back here because if there is a hundred milliliters in each one, what is ten one hundredths? Well, ten groups of one hundred is what number? That's right, it is one thousand. Now, if you have 10 one, groups of 100 milliliters, how many milliliters will you have? You will have 1,000 milliliters. Now look carefully. Do you see right here? It says 1,000 milliliters. Okay, now let's move to the next slide. Look, this shows it very clearly. This is a liter, one liter, broken into milliliters. Now do you see how they abbreviate with the lowercase m and the capital L? Now, how many, how many milliliters are in one liter? That's right, there are 1,000. That means that if my water was filled up to, oh, let's say, right here. Let's say right here is my water level. Okay? <clears throat> and I want to know what my capacity is. I'm going to ask you, so what is my capacity? And you would read this and you would say it is 5 hundred, what are we in? This is milliliters. But if I, can I write it another way? What is this also? This is also half of a 
leader. That's right. Now, when we compare capacities or we measure liquids, we are measuring the liquid volume. Okay? We want to know how much is in it. This is called the liquid volume. When I found out that half of a liter is 500 milliliters, I found out it's liquid volume. Okay? Now I'm going to move on. Now, if I know that each one of these things has, each one of these decompositions or divisions has 100 milliliters, and I want to divide one of them up even further, one, two, three, four, five, how many milliliters are going to be in each one? Well, if there's a hundred in this box, how much is going to be in one of these boxes? Well, how many groups of ten do I have? That's right, I have ten groups of whatever it is. How many do I have divided? Ten. So I have ten groups of ten, which equals 100 milliliters. So this is how I know that this is 100 milliliters. It's going to be in each one of our boxes. So right here, I'm going to have 10 milliliters. Now guess what? I have a very small beaker and it is measuring 10 milliliters. Do you see this? Okay, so if you wanted to find out the capacity of this, you're going to see that it's not 10 milliliters. The line of the water is, the, is a little bit higher than 10 milliliters. So I'm probably guessing it might be about one more millimeter over. So 10 plus 1 is 11 millimeters. If it were right on the line, we could measure its li liquid volume as 10 milliliters. All right. Well, fun. Now let's move on. If the, one of these divisions is 100 milliliters, and I know that if I divide this into groups of 10, and that one of these boxes is going to be 10 milliliters, one box of 10 is going to be, one box of 10 is going to be how many? 10. So I can divide two, three, four. I can divide one of these even further. How much is one of these little boxes going to be? That's right, it's going to be one milliliter. It's going to be what is in one of these little boxes. Because if I have one group of 10 milliliters, I know there's 10 milliliters in it. I divide it into 10 groups, I got one milliliter. Okay, now, I want you to see these pictures. This is a picture of a syringe. This might be what you have inserted into. Do you see the needle right here when you get shots? If you can read it carefully, you will see right here that this little syringe holds one milliliter. This eyedropper right here holds one milliliter. Now, let's pretend that I had a lot of time and lots of finger strength. And I wanted to use this eyedropper. We call this an eyedropper. And I wanted to find out how many milliliters were in a liter, and I was going to use this to fill up that one liter pitcher. I wonder how many times I would have to fill this up. Well, how many milliliters are in a liter? That's right, 1,000 liters. So I would have to fill it up. 1,000 times. That would be a very long day filling up one little pitcher of water, wouldn't it? This is when math comes in handy, so you don't have to sit and do that the whole time. Now, one thing that I would like you to see, we are doing it by multiplication, but can we divide it even further? This is right here. This is a box of 100 milliliters, and I divided it into 10 groups. When I divide it into 10 groups, what is my answer? It is 10 milliliters, right? 
When I divided this right here, when I divided 10 milliliters into 10 groups, what did I get? One milliliter, right? Well, 10 divided by 10, or 10 divided into 10 groups, really is one group, isn't it? Very nice. Now, I would like you to go and work on your practice problems. Hope you have a good night. Happy thinking about milliliters.